If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student. This video I have intended for student who has planned for appearing JE Main or JE Advanced. So how to prepare? Because your 11, 12 and your diploma study is little different. So there will be advantage and disadvantage. So in this video, we'll be discussing that. So do watch this video till the end. And if you like it, then press the like button. Okay, then so there are some advantage or disadvantage also for a diploma student. So let us start with first disadvantage. So if you see the first disadvantage, what is the first disadvantage? Your lack of information. Most of you don't know that you need, you can appear for JE Main or JE Advanced. Next is lack of depth of concept because uh, same as board candidate because the JE syllabus is little different for your board exam or semester exam. So it, you need little extra concept than your semester and board exam. And lack of motivation because what happens in 11-12 students as long as they are studying 11-12 they always think for JE Main. They because either they prepare or not but they will sit for JE Main because they need to secure a place either for NEET admission or either for medical or engineering they need to sit some for entrance exam. So they ex prepare from class 11 in that direction. But as you have already become engineer because you have studied in diploma, I am not demor demoralizing you. Okay, you got diploma, that is good. You have done some, either you cracked some entrance or you have done good marks in your class 10 exam so that you uh, you got that seat in diploma. That is good. You are becoming an engineer. But don't think this is the end. I became engineer, nothing is required. So that is the lack of motivation. You don't want to push yourself. Let's try little bigger. So push yourself for JE Main and JE Advance and try to get some certificate from NIT or IIT which will be more helpful for your career. Now what is the advantage? Let's talk about the advantage. The first advantage is that you got three years, one year extra. The 11 12 student got only two years, now you got three years to prepare. It's a very long in your semester exams also. You there are lots of breaks are there Durga Puja break, winter break, semester break, summer break. Because engineering study, it will take hardly semester exam, it will take hardly two, three months study. So in the entire year you are free. Hardly three, three, six months you will be busy, and then six months you will be free. And it is less burden than your board exam. Board 11 12 exam, if you see your side by side, your candidates, your friends, so those who are studying in 11 12, what pressure they are handling and what pressure you are handling in diploma there is a lots of change you, you don't handle that much of pressure in engineering study so you have lots of time and you have studied a lot of whole lot of additional subject in your branch a branch of engineering which will help you in many portions basically in physics you will see if you can clear those subject very efficiently then it will be good so let's go to the preparation so if you come to maths syllabus is almost same in all subjects math physics chemistry but little here and there maths you have studied little extra also because in second year third year you have additional maths so maths you have got beyond that syllabus also in some aspect so in this channel i try to make a good platform so that you can get start your maths preparation from now onwards in the channel if you go this playlist you will find three playlists one is for math basic that is diploma you will find for first semester now later on we will add it uh, for second semester also that will be helpful for your uh, basics of each topic theory is discussed so you can watch this video your basics will be cleared and some questions from tripura university from 2009 onwards has been solved so this will helpful for your semester exam or which will also helpful for your board exam also if you are 11 12 student for second semester one extra playlist will be added later once this first semester is complete now in intermediate level then again theory is discussed but this theory is little extra we have uh, i have gone little extra than your basic level which is required for you je man and je advanced and you will you will see that what is the difference between your basic level and your intermediate level that is your basic 11 12 or semester exam and what is the difference between je man and advanced how uh, little more you want to go in the concept so that it becomes very clear for you visualization is very important je man and so you will see the clear difference between these two, these two study. And here uh, in this module, uh, JE main questions from 2003 onwards has been solved uh, with detailed explanation. So you can watch this video so that will be helpful. Third module, you will find uh, another playlist. It is math advanced. Here, no theory is discussed because theory is uh, all the theories we have discussed in math intermediate level for advanced and JE main both is given in that level. All the notes you will find in the description. You can download it. All the questions also, also given in the description. So you can download all this material. So it's all freely available. And in the advanced level it's IIT entrance questions from 1999 although I'm saying from 1999 in some of the topic I started from 1994 onwards also so if you these questions is like Gita for you or Quran for you or Bible for you because this is very important once you solve all these questions if you can remember all the concept because concepts will be repeating question may not be repeating but these concepts are used every time so once you clear this one you can clearly remember all the concepts then I think you got a very good base for your maths which will be helpful not for JE main advance for entire life now you come to physics physics you have a lots of advantage what are the advantage some of the additional courses that you have done your diploma the first course that I will say about your basic electrical and basic electronics this is your first or common courses so this is very important this will help for, for your class 12 physics because class 12 physics is basically electricity electricity electrostatics basic electronics semiconductor physics PN junction basic electronics will come there so for this course I will refer you you code you can do some NPTEL course one course I will refer you you can see this course freely in U2F YouTube but I will recommend you complete the course there will be a fee 
fees are 1000 and with this 1000 fee you can get a certificate from IIT. So one course I will recommend, I have given the link of that NPTEL course also. This is Fundamental of Electrical Engineering by Professor D. Das, the Das of IIT Kharagpur. You can do that course, this is very good course. And if you are in electrical engineering, then you should do this course because this is the basic of your electrical engineering that will be helpful. You have many other courses, if you are electrical engineering or electronics, you have courses in secondary electrical circuits, analog electronics, electrical machines for ECE and if in another branch also, if you find it is in your branch subject, then do this course. This will help you for your class 12 physics. Basics of machine, that is DC machine, that is there in class 12 course. Transformer is there in class 12. Your transistor is there in class 12 course. And PNP, NP, common emitter, common base connections. So this will be very helpful. So you go those courses, basic level. It takes some material from the market. Take any book from uh, physics for uh, JE main and advanced level and try to solve problems. The another course is technical mechanics, which is very important course for your first year, common for all branches. Technical mechanics is nothing but it is the numerical of physics only. It is class 11 physics, nothing else is there. So many a course, friction, police questions, these are already there in class 12, 11 physics. If you do your technical mechanics very strongly, then it will be very helpful for class 11 physics. But do, don't do it for only for exam purpose. You solve, try to solve the questions from technical mechanics by Timu Shonko. This is a good book. And for, for physics also, you will find in YouTube, there are lots of free channels are available. There are lots of good people around you. You will find lots of free channel is given in YouTube. One such channel I can recommend, you can go by this, Physics Galaxy by Ashish Aroda, one of the free channels. You can see those channels for JE main and JE advanced level. These are all free. For chemistry, if your branch is in chemical engineering, then you might have studied some of the courses which will be helpful for your class 11, 12 chemistry. Or for that also, you can see YouTube. There will be lots of free channels available. So you can search and you can find it out. Finally, the thing that matters is your hard work and your motivation and your dedication. Even if you don't crack it, but this preparation will make your base very strong, especially for maths, because it will help you lifelong. Without maths, you cannot be good in engineering. You will you will face problem in your BTEC, you will face problem in your MTech admission. Even if you get MTech also, you will face problem while seeking job also. So in a lifelong, it will be a problem for you if your maths is not strong. And lastly, even if after doing it, let's be optimistic. Suppose you don't get IIT JE or JE advance, then also there is option that you can go to IIT. What are the options? You complete your BTEC, then you drew your MTech through GATE exam. If you clear GATE, then also you can get admitted in IIT. And for that also, this channel provides you some base for GATE preparation also for electric and electronics instrumentation and biomedical branches there are lots of things covered in this channel for maths you can subscribe this channel and start preparing from now okay best of luck and best wishes for me